What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Full Game Walkthrough Series, episode 93. Today, Randolph is going down. Um, so yeah, we are finally back on the main series. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the three-part series that I did uh, with the uh, cyclists. Uh, but um, but before we get to Randolph, we have to um, uh, defeat Nalia in the Hall of Inspector. Uh, for, as a reminder, I said this last episode as well, but uh, we helped her. The last time we talked to Nalia, we were helping her find her wand. So anyway, Hall of Inspector, let's go. Do this. Once again, I thank you for your effort recovering my lucky wand. I will not pull any punches in our duel, though. Honestly, I don't doubt it. Alright, uh... Oh, she's ice. Alright, 600 health. Well, 675. We don't want to undercut Nalia too much. Alright. Pulling out all the stops. Right. Jeez, these power pips are just not showing up. Alright, she should be dead next. Alright, Nalia, you've been a good friend, but only one of us can win this battle. Got her? Yes. I am indebted to you. You showed me courtesy and sportsmanship, and still, you defeated me soundly. Tell Master Glen Deming that you were the winner today. Good luck to you. I hope you are the one who wins the tournament. Thank you, Nalia. At least she was nice to us, unlike Randall. Oh! There we are. So, yeah, we just defeated Nalia. This is the whole bracket. And then we're about to defeat Randolph, so. Um, I'm excited. We're going to uh, finally put Randolph in the dirt. Alright, just might take supplies. I'm watching the standings of all other competitors, and you're one of the few unbeaten wizards. I trust Headmaster oh, Crisp has more business with you. Business concerning the recovery of the Spiral Cup. Righty. Back to Crisp. Alright, first, what do you got? I'm astonished. You're doing quite well. Would that Wizard City had seen fit to compete these past few years. Crisp. So, you claim to have seen something like those pieces of plant from the tournament hall in Tanglewood Way, right? Yes, ma'am. I think the logical choice is to report to Sergeant Harvey in Dr. Harvey? Way and see if he can help you all right, let's go do that scepter of the sand. Oh, all right. So to Harvey then. Then we have to defeat some of those green men. Saw a couple of those last episode. Harvey. I knew you'd be back before too long. I can't help you with the green men who've overrun Tanglewood Way, even if you're sure they took the spiral cup. I suggest defeating several of them and seeing if they drop pieces of leaf, bark, and vine like the ones you found. Go into Tanglewood Way. 
when you've gathered some of that evidence, bring it back to me and we'll compare. All right. Yeah, last time I was here. That all of the creatures on this street move and act as if they're part of a single being. Suspicious. So yeah, we fixed the uh, fountain last episode. Hey, we're gonna destroy all of them in one go. All right, fine. But anyway, we. Whoa! That was scary. All right. Lately, we, um, fixed the, um, um, fountain in the last episode, uh, so. Weakness, of course. Game is a death. We might as well. Next round, they should be dead. Let me get this on the first time. Yes, we got it. All right. So yeah, we uh, fixed the uh, fountain. It looks very nice. Uh, kind of helping refine the area a little bit. All right, Harvey. Like the scraps you took from the green men match those from the tournament hall. Why would they steal the spiral cup? When the green men first appeared, groundskeeper Vern studied them a bit. Maybe he can tell you more. Right. We're gonna level 15,000, 14 and a half. Not even close to that. Oh, and also, another thing level 68, we need a uh, new spell. Which is exciting. I think we get a new spell anyway. Anyway. Back to Vern, I guess. What do you got? That chicken guy? did a lot of work in Tanglewood Way examining them when they first appeared. He ordered the street to be closed. That's very suspicious. Go speak to him outside his classroom. Drawer should help you get to the bottom of things. Alright, well, we'll see. This world kind of reminds me a lot of Avalon. Which we'll get to eventually, that's after Zafaria. Avalon's one of my personal favorite worlds. I don't see why, eventually, but anyway. Drawers, you've been suspicious this whole time. I was afraid you'd discover that the green men were involved. What? This isn't good at all. What? This is a most distressing turn of events. Still, I have just the thing to deal with the green men and recover the spiral cup. Step into my classroom, won't you? And let's see if we can't get you straightened out. Excuse me, drawers? 
Get me straightened out? Whoa, hold the phone, my brother. I'm sensing a boss battle here. What the heck? What the... Uh, team? What the heck? No! I hadn't anticipated you discovering my connection to the Green Men so soon. You won't leave here to warn the others. He is an evil person. Well. Time to review your homework. Today's subject, traps. <laughs> you think you're funny, George. Well. He tricked us the entire time we were here. Unbelievable. I mean, I always had, I always knew he was suspicious, but never knew that he would actually turn on us. Should be dead next. So he cheats. Those heels are meaningless because he's got full health already. Kind of an interesting place in here. So, I guess. I think those pink or no, sorry, purple plants are called wisteria, um, which is an actual plant. Uh, kind of nice connection there. All right, drawers. You want to give me an explanation of why you turned on us? I've never been so thankful for a drubbing. The magical defeat you inflicted has broken the enthrallment Lord Bramble has over me. Who is this Lord Bramble? I will tell you what I can before his spell reasserts itself. Lord Bramble is the culprit, the one behind the theft. Lord Bramble wants to reclaim all of Wisteria to the wild, overgrown state it was before Pigswick Academy was founded. Hmm. He wants to discredit Pigswick and to pit Ravenwood against it. That is why he chose to have me frame you for the theft. <gasps> We're gonna get this guy. Must go to Tanglewood Way and defeat Lord Bramble in his tower. He has my soul trapped in a wooden doll. <laughs> what? Me. A wooden doll? It may be that he still has the spiral cup in his keeping. If it has not been smashed to bits, it will be in Bramble's tower. All right, George, I believe you. Let's a mark here just in case. All right. I'm gonna get this Lord. You can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes. Lord. Ramble. Uh, 
Alright. So, like I said in the last episode, um, I have to do it, go around, and instead of going all the way around, just go through Quentin Burble's house. Mushroom. Foreboding music. Whoa, he looks really cool. I knew the draws was weak and would fail me. But I did not expect him to fall to a mere child. Come, face your doom. He looks really cool. So yeah, the book for this area obviously is here. I mean, where, where, where else would it be, right? Um, so, only a thousand. Hopefully, he'll be dead next. The uh, golden key boss uh, looks like him, although he little ramble in his. Um, Although he's got different colors and stuff. It's like a little bit darker. I haven't defeated him, but I've seen him. Hopefully they're good. Oh, barely. It's like under 13 over. Lawrence Ramble drops a small wooden doll. The one Professor Drawer spoke of. And there it is. The spiral cup. Well, there you are. Oh, what's behind there? I don't really see it. Alright. Back to drawers. You have defeated Lord Bramble and put a stop to his madness. And with that wooden doll, my soul is now mine again. Go tell Headmistress Crisp that the Spiral Cup is recovered, and the dastardly plot is at an end. Alright, Drawers. Well, we redeemed him, and he has redemption arc. So. Yes, you want to apologize? I'm relieved to put the matter of the missing spiral cup behind us, and I apologize for our suspicions. You better me. Would you be so kind as to return the cup to the tournament hall and to speak to Master Glenn Dimming about your final match? Alrighty. Oh, and that reminds me, we have two more side quests to do. Your use helping out students and staff. How about helping out a few members of our faculty? One reason we sponsor this tournament is to provide less privileged students a chance at improving their education. Present yourself to Professors Price, Burbo, and Bunch, and see what aid you can provide. Return to me when you're done. Alright, so before we go and put um, Randolph in the dirt, um, uh, we are going to go and do this. Um, I would have done this during the episode, but the pre-quest wouldn't... Uh, I love the news now, so. It's just, it's basically just talking to them. So. 
Bunch, last time we talked to you. I've been wondering why no students volunteered to help me. Very well. Fresh meat. I mean, uh, new blood. At any rate, I have plenty for you to do if you're up to the challenge. Alright, Bunch. It was nice knowing you. I mean, it's price, but you helped him as well. Wonderful! I can certainly use some assistance. Check in with me whenever you're ready to roll up your sleeves. Alrighty, we've already done his quest too. His quest was the uh, fountain one. Alright, verbal. We found he was quite boring, which, let's be honest, kind of is. Quentin. How marvelous to helping me. I hope I, I mean, you can learn something. Let me know when you're ready. Alright. I have an embarrassing confession to make. I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to magic. I think you already proved that. I've just been using the old Frost Professor's lesson plans and presenting them as my own. The students don't mind. Unfortunately, my lesson plans are in my house, and my house is in Tanglewood Way. I can't get in, so I'm in a real pickle. I'm afraid of the walking plant men. Could you go to my house in Tanglewood Way? And see if you could find my lesson plans. Alrighty, I'll do it. So yeah, this is the house I was talking about where you can just cut through it and then you're on the opposite side of the kind of wood way. Alright, so it's right up here. Right back here. And I stole a painting from him as well. These look like the lesson plans Professor Burble told you about. Yeah. Alright, so back to Burble. Thank you so much. I should get reading. My class is soon to start. Alright, so. Anyway. And let's get a crisp before we actually defeat Randolph, finally. Then, of course, we'll do the Zeke quest as well, and then the book quest. visited all three professors? I trust they broadened your educational horizons. Am I correct? Well, I already did two of their quests, so... Anyway, now... We can get on with the business of defeating Randolph and putting him in the dirt. It's where he belongs, really. Well, Mysteria's been good. I, um... I, I really think that this is an underrated world. I think it needs a little bit of expanding, and maybe have some spells from the, uh, professors. So anyway. Things I know if you're watching this. You return the spiral cup to its proper place. Alright, that's, well, it's gonna be there for, like, five more minutes, and then we're gonna take it. <laughs> Benedict. I thank you for restoring the spiral cup to its rightful place, though you have proved a worthy duelist. I feel it will stay here. They've done this the entire time we were here, but we're not to prove them wrong. The student you face for your final round of the tournament is none other than Randolph Spellshy. Randolph is my greatest pupil, the finest student I have ever taught in all of my years at Pigsvig Academy. Still, you must at least attempt the formality of the duel. Go to the Hall of the Gorgon to face your defeat. Wow. They've done this the entire time we were here. We were here, yeah. I can speak. Oh, 
Oh, that's kind of nice. That's a bigger area than was uh, the others. I know we're going the wrong way, but I just want to show you guys everything here. So this is this is everything Randall's right down there. And so I wish they would have like fans here, and then we should like um um. Chris would, would, would like come down here and then like announce the um announce the match. Like Meryl can be in attendance. The other entrance right over there. So anyway, that's what the full hall of the Gorgon looks like. But really cool nonetheless. Anyway. And off. You're going down. And he cheats also. I'll have nothing to worry about. You think you'd show up? Well, you've had a good run, but this is where you meet your better. Randolph, this is where you get to be the... Seven hundred health. I'm not exactly sure what his cheats are, but we're gonna find out. Oh, he was about to cheat. Hmm. Hmm. He didn't take away my blade. That's where to come and cheat. Wonder what the cheat is then. Alright. He is dead next. Well, Randolph, he had a good run, but he had to be defeated at some point. There he is. Oh, what the heck? He just took away his own... He, he took away his own plus 30. Which is weird. God. And he's defeated. He won't last long without shields. Better wizard than I am, by far. Clearly. Go and tell Master Glenn Deming that you have defeated the best that Pigswick Academy has to offer. I don't know if you're the best. Are we gonna see the bracket? Yes! Okay, here it is. So, first, we have Felix Kasai. Beatrice defeated Paige. Nalia defeated Jasper Firecloud. Cadence, uh, Metal Song lost against Don Lightbreaker. Gaston Lightbreaker then lost to Nalia. We defeated Beatrice. Then we defeated Nalia. And then Randolph had his own bracket. Um, like, maybe, maybe I can make a bracket of, like, what, um, uh, what Randolph's was. Um, then maybe I can, like, talk about it in the next episode or something like that. But I don't know. Um,. Uh, I mean, there would have had to have been, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There would have had to have been eight on his uh, side, including Randolph, so seven other people. Um, goodbye, old friend. Hopefully, I want that fountain. This fountain is really cool. Oh, well, Benedict, give me my prize. Unbelievable. This hall will be the emptier for the lack of the cup that has adorned it for so long. Go and tell Headmistress Crisp that Pigswick's record is broken and that Ravenwood is the winner now. All right, back to Crisp. Hopefully for the last time. Let's be honest. And then too much crispness. Crispness? Crispness. Not too much crispness. Too much crispness. 
Are we gonna level? Let's see, we have 10k? No, there's no way we're gonna level. Maybe we'll level from the Zeke quest and Book quest, we'll see. How does that feel? We beat you. I can't say I'm pleased to see the Spiral Cup leaving our care, but it truly went to the best wizard in the tournament. Return to Wizard City and tell Headmaster Ambrose of your victory. But remind him that next year, we will take the cup back. We are the champions. Look at that. We are the champions. Spiral Cup, nice and back high. So anyway, uh, before we go talk to Meryl, uh, we will go talk to Zeke, get the, um, get his quests for this world. Then we'll talk to Hugo. Actually, we'll talk to Hugo first, since it's more symbolic that Zeke is, uh, that we get, uh, ah. Uh, um, it's, it's pretty symbolic that Zeke is the last, uh, um, um, uh, quest. You know, it occurs to me that as a visiting student, you haven't received any instruction in the history of this school. True. Rather than chew your ear with a boring lecture, I recommend seeking out part of the four-book series, The Pig's Wick Paper. This fine set of volumes will illuminate the darkness, stoke the imagination, and set you on a path of higher learning. Really? Inconveniently, these works are spread throughout Wisteria, so you will have to keep your eyes open for them. Alright, so the first one, uh, they're in an order, and we're gonna go in order. Um... Uh, the first one, uh, well, well... Let's also go get Zeke's quest, because, um, I don't want to have to go back twice. Um, so. So, in eight episodes. Seriously, late. Well, technically, five, but, yeah. The Wallflowers. Hey there, little wizard. Fancy meeting you here. Looks like you're out to broaden your educational horizons, eh? Yes. If you got a moment to spare, I'd appreciate a little help. No trouble to you, though. I'm looking for some plants native to these here parts. A species of flower called the wallflowers. They're a shy and retiring sort of flower. They'll hang close to walls throughout all of Wisteria. Hence why they're called wallflowers. If you yeah, I got can it. find them all and return to me when you know where they are, I'd be mighty grateful. Alrighty, so let's, uh, so I know where all of these are, so the first one, uh, the first wallflower in Pigsburg Academy is right next to the Frost School. You have to go right behind here, and bam. It's right there. Um, it's just uh, right next to it. Um, well, let's see. Let's go to Pegasus Place. Uh, so yeah, Pegasus Place, Tanglewood Way, Library Archives, Crystal Tower, which is in the Pegasus Place, uh, the Tournament Hall, uh, which is obviously the Tournament Hall, and then the Library of Archives, then the, um, which is in the Library, and then Lord Bramble's Tower. So, Pegasus Place, first place we're gonna go to. Select both. So, um, uh, so we have to go to the Crystal Tower. So the Wallflower is by the Crystal Tower. Um, it is not uh, by the Tower of the Elephant, which I feel like it should be if they want to, like, spread things out. Um, I mean, I suppose it could be near the, um, Pegasus Farm, but, eh. Don't get pulled. Pulled. Alright, so the wallflower is right back here. Uh, right on the edge of the set of houses, right next to these set of three, uh, trees. And then, of course, the, um, first volume of the, um, uh, book series is in the Crystal Tower with Lloyd Graustark. Um, you've seen him many episodes ago. Well, not many, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have to defeat him again. If we do, it's fine. But I don't think we do. Alright. 
Trigger's Witch Papers. This is the first one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. After his unceremonious dismissal from the Ravenwood School of Magic, Sir Bainbridge Pigswick devised a plan. Huh, he was, and that, that's why Pigswick hates us so much, because we um, expelled its founder. He would create a school of his own, where his unorthodox and less common philosophy of magic would be taught. Makes sense. Pigswick squandered his inheritance and purchased a deserted, vine-covered city on the world of Wisteria. Where others saw a series of wrecked, vine-choked buildings, Pigswick saw a magnificent school of magical art. So he was crazy. Alright, anyway, the next one, the next paper we have to go to is the tournament hall. We'll do that one first. Um, because um, it's closer. Tournament Hall, Library Archives. Also, yeah, we're we'll going to the Tournament Hall. It's a uh, second one in the order. Number two. Pigswick staffed his academy with instructors drawn from across the spiral, hired for their willingness to relocate. Yeah. Rather than the dusty, tried and true methods of teaching magic, Pigswick sought new and less traditional approaches. Pigswick students were among the finest of those willing and able to afford the academy's exceptionally high tuition. With lenient entry requirements, Pigswick is the primary school for students lacking obvious magic ability. Interesting. So, it's a school for, like, squibs or something. So, Tanglewood, Library Archives. Oh, wait, wait, really? Is that it? Let's be Library Archives, Lord Brambles. Oh, okay. Alright, so. Let's actually go to the Library of Archives first, because that's um, um, the next one in the series, and also it's right here. Um, Alright, so, now yeah, we completed this uh, last episode, the last thing we did. Um, um, it made sense, you know, have a mini dungeon and be the last thing. Uh, sort of a symbolically ending the cyclist. We don't have to face this guy either, the Arrange Wild Claw. So. So the Wallflower is in the first, um, area. Um. Um, it's, it's in the first little, like, circle. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's right in the back. You'll see it as you come in. It's off to the right there. And then the book, I believe, is in the next one. Um, yeah, it's in the second one. Uh, it's, uh, it's way to the right, so it's immediately to the right. The Pigswick method of magic instruction teaches that students should be exposed only to theoretical discussion. So it's basically, um, oh, what's her name from Harry Potter? Umbridge. Dolores, so it's basically Dolores Umbridge's. Um, Dolores Umbridge's Academy. Actual magic and spell casting is discouraged as vulgar and easy. It is not easy. The what do you mean? Path to magic is a restful attitude. That's ridiculous. For this reason, Pigswick students are given no homework, no studies, and spend most of their time taking naps. See, that's the only good part about this uh, academy. Well-rested students are eventually able to figure it out when it comes to the use of magic. Really? Unfortunately, few Pigswick students ever become real wizards, and most enter other trades. Interesting. Alright, so the last ones are in, both in Tanglewood Way. Um, uh, the book is, of course, in Lord Bramble's Tower. Um, and then the wallflower is just sitting organically on a wall. Uh, if that was ever such a thing, um... So, how much XP are we getting from these? 500 total, from both? Yeah, we're not leveling from this. Alright, let's see. 
But yeah, tomorrow is Zafaria, so that's pretty exciting. Another new world. Alright, so they are both on the opposite side, so like with earlier, you can go through Quentin Burble's house. And uh, after you come, uh, after you um, come on the opposite, uh, after you exit the opposite side of Quentin Burble's house, um, the um, um, wallflower is uh, right in this area. You have to go right over here um, in this corner. Um, um, uh, you have to about go to the left, and then it's. Sort of off to the side here. It's beyond this like branch that's coming out of this um, uh, of the ground, and it's beyond the the piece of root that's got the um, leaves, uh, the green leaves hanging off of it. And then the book uh, is of course in um, Lord Bramble's tower. Not much to it. You just enter his tower, and it's there. I think we saw it earlier actually. Um, and it's nothing we have to defeat Lord Bramble again. If we do, then you know what. It's fine, but not what we prefer. Um, right, don't get pulled. Right, volume four. To spread the word of Pigswig's educational innovations, Headmaster Pigswig started a magical tournament. Students representing all of the different schools of magic from across the spy world were invited to compete. The Spiral Cup was selected as the grand prize, a fitting symbol of magic supremacy and skill. Though in the past, it has been won by Ravenwood and Mushu schools, for many years the cup has been claimed by Pigswick. Coincidentally, the years Pigswick won the Spiral Cup were also years in which no other schools appeared to compete. Well... Can't uh, you can't lose if you don't have any opponents, which makes competition worthless. Alrighty, so one last uh, uh, hurrah and uh, take it away. So now we have to go to the library. And now we have to go to. Uh, Chatterley, one last time here, Macduff. I think you ought to bring the books back. I can hardly remember where I left them. Throughout the world is where it is. Alrighty, and then now we have to go to Zeke's Top 10 against Cathalia. Found me out. We'll get to that next episode. Anyway, we truly are the champions. We, uh, we defeated Wisteria, we put Randolph in the dirt, we... Helped revive a teacher being possessed because the soul in one doll uh, was taken. So, anyway, Zeke. You did it! Thank you very much, little wizard! And there it is! Alrighty, we gained the training point and we gained the Wisteria Explorer. So, let's, uh, let's actually change our badge here. Uh, well, actually, um, I think we're gonna get another badge after having had talked to Meryl. Um, uh, so let's go over there and uh, yeah. So anyway, one last look here. Pretty amazing. One last appreciation for the uh, fountain. It's very beautiful. Shooting water. This is down here. I thank you. You are one of the good adults here that actually like this. So anyway, to uh, uh, to Meryl. Another world gone. World number eight or nine, depending. <coughs> Excuse me. World number eight or nine, depending on how you want to count. Winter Tusk. Personally, uh, since we did Grizzle Time and Winter Tusk all in one go, I'm going to count that as one, so it is world eight. Alright, Commons is hopping today. Alright, Meryl, last words of wisdom for Wisteria. How was your term approved? I 
amazing, and we won. Well, we're the only true wizards. Thank you, Meryl. Where's Chris Blotner? I have need of a student of your exceptional abilities. Can you visit me in my office at Pigswick Academy? That's for the Tower of the Elephant. We'll do that eventually. Uh, so anyway, um, next time, uh, we will be heading to Zafaria. Um, I got, I got the quest for Zafaria when we got the quest for Wisteria. Uh, wasn't intentional, but it's the way it happened. So if you want to go, uh, um, re-listen uh, re to the, uh, dialogue to talk to Faumea, uh, go to the beginning of Wisteria, the first episode. Anyway. Next time, we'll be going and talking to uh, Dahlia Palmia, the um, fire teacher, and then we will start our journey uh, in Zafari. So anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed today, uh, End of Wisteria, and um, Randolph's defeat. We put him in the dirt, um, and um, we won the tournament. So anyway, hype for that. Uh, next episode, I'll have a whole new set of gear. Hopefully, um, or I might just go back to the gear that I had before with Syria because I changed into a goober. Um, anyway, uh, leave a like and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.